Hello all. Uh, this is a uh, video on installing uh, my uh, Arch Linux edition. And uh, I branded it, I guess, uh, Arch Linux Midfinger Edition. <laughs> and I'll just step through the process of installing it in VirtualBox and dual booting with Windows 7. So I've already partitioned off a, a blank area in Windows 7. So from there we'll go to uh, start where the uh, Arch logo is and at the bottom here just type gparted or start typing gparted and that will open up and password uh, that you used to, to log in was a guest so g press enter it'll probe the device there's only one hard drive and here's unallocated space so just right click new Extension 4 is the default, and click Add, and then click the Apply button and Apply here, and we're done. Uh, keep this open for a minute, and just make note of what uh, the extension 4 and what device it says. It's uh, das, uh, at device SDA3, so we'll open a terminal, uh, Control-Alt-T, and just type SU to go to the uh, root user. And again, keeping note of this, we want to do a mount slash DEV slash SDA3. You got to really pay attention to that. I've done that before and uh, <laughs> ended up messing a few things up. So mount slash DEV slash SDA3 slash MNT. Press enter. Okay. Now we can close Gparted. And just take this installer script here, drag it right into the command prompt, make sure the command prompt is highlighted, and just press enter. And uh, give this a few minutes or so to uh, complete. All right, so uh, once we're finished uh, with the script, uh, just for to make sure everything's cleared out, just arrow key up once and just uh, run that again to clear out any uh, remnants. And we should be good to go from there. So I'll clear the screen. Now we can uh, ch root into the uh, mounted environment. So it's very simple. It's arch. And press tab. And it will be a dash ch root to slash mnt. You can list that out if you want. And from here, um, we'll do a make um, mk init. Press tab there, and then the space dash p, and the word Linux, press enter. And give that uh, a bit of time to build as well. All right, uh, that's finished. So from here, we'll just do a grub, uh, dash install, and then slash dev s s d a. Remember that uh, there's no one or two after that, just s d a, press enter. And then grub, and we're going to make the configuration file, just so we can uh, look at it and make sure it's uh, picked up our Windows 7 uh, installation. So grub dash mk config space dash o, another space and boot, grub, grub and dot cfg. All right, and press enter. Don't worry about the uh, Fail to connect messages, and it's uh, found Windows 7 loader. Okay, so I'm gonna um, exit out of here, and we're gonna generate a file system table. So gen fs tab and a slash mnt, and two arrows out, and then another mnt etc, and then fs tab. Press enter and make sure that's uh, picked up our Linux partition. SDA3, just uh, CAT that part there and press enter. And you can see that it's uh, found that. So from here, we'll just do an unmount or U mount slash MNT and a dash, space dash capital R and press enter. And then type exit. Exit one more time. 
and just go down to the uh, menu here and go to this logout and hit restart. All right, so instead of uh, booting the Arch Linux CD, boot existing OS. And we'll see if Arch is running. So you can just let that go or press enter right there. And if you see this, uh, just press enter again in VirtualBox. And uh, it shows you right here the username is midfinger, the password is guest so guest sorry log in and screen says type start x to begin and there we have it uh, arch linux uh, installed on virtualbox and we'll go to uh, the file manager and just unmount this image now so we're not to we won't see that at uh, boot time.